So what do you think would be the number one Microsoft news story for 2011? Well, stick around. We're going to find out very shortly in this Toss Today news special, the top five Windows stories for 2011. All right, let's take a look at my five top Windows stories for 2011. Number five on my list, uh, in case you haven't noticed, there is no more Zune. Zune, of course, being Microsoft's media player. I believe the Zune was first released back in, what, 2006, and I believe at the time it was touted as the iPod killer. Now, of course, that never happened. There was really uh, nothing really bad about the uh, first generation Zune but it didn't really offer anything substantially different or better than the iPod and hence it, and hence it was not a real competitor uh, to the iPod itself. Now if it had had something something unique at the time such as maybe a user replaceable battery, touchscreen interface, camera, something that the iPod did not have, the Zune may have turned out to be a completely different story altogether. But alas it was not meant to be. So as of the end of last year, Zune is no longer available. Number four on my list, uh, the Windows smartphone, which really this is the transition from the Zune to the smartphone. What the, the features in the Zune are being really implemented, uh, if I'm not mistaken, into a Windows uh, smartphone. Uh, since everything today is going uh, as a as an all-in-one device for the mass market, you know your phone, your media player, music, video, camera, and so on, it would make sense that the cell phone or the smartphone uh, would surpass in terms of uh, convenience and functionality any type of media player. Now I did play around with the first generation of Windows smartphone. I found it to be completely user friendly but at the time there really weren't a lot of apps. That of course is going to change rather quickly once Windows 8 Final is released sometime this year. Number three, and this is something that really hasn't been mentioned that much, uh, Office 365, uh, Microsoft's cloud-based services, it seems like everything today or almost everything any type of convenience and functionality is based in the cloud so yeah my number three on my list office 365 you can catch or um, you can get more information on office 365.com I believe if you are interested uh, it's something I don't currently use but I believe Microsoft does offer a free trial if you wanted to uh, check it out and if you do please let me know what you think alright let's see number two on my list is Oh yeah, the update to the Xbox 360 dashboard. Again, it looks more of a touch screen type interface. Uh, of course, we are not there yet in terms of TV touch screens, but I thought the update looks, uh, uh, looks rather slick. Uh, I know my son likes it and I enjoy navigating to it when I do spend any time on the Xbox 360 playing games and whatnot. Well, number one, the number one Windows News item on my list last year probably had to be the Windows 8 Developer Preview. Now if you recall, I remember downloading it and taking a quick look at this. Now keep in mind it was a developer's preview I guess would be considered an alpha. So it wasn't really quite ready. Now I know a lot of you uh, you know whether you use Linux or Windows or maybe both don't like it or didn't like it at the time I don't know yet I'm willing to give this a chance and wait and see what happens just like I gave um, Ubuntu a chance when they first uh, changed their user interface to the Unity desktop and as it turned out I liked and like still using Unity. Windows 8 I don't know yet. I will wait till the final version. There is a beta to be released at the end of February and I will check it out. So there you have it. To recap my five top Windows stories for 2011. Number five, no more Zune. Number four, the Windows smartphone. Number three, the Office 365 Cloud 
number two Xbox dashboard update and number one the Windows 8 preview uh, if I miss something or if you feel this list is somewhat out of whack please let me know and maybe I will mention it and mention your comment on the air thank you so much for watching and of course I will catch you guys and girls always in the future ciao